Growing up a Latino in the United States has always been adventurous, fun, exciting, hard, all of the above. But the struggle of growing up Salvadoran in the US is unique in that not a lot of people know about us at all. You know, it's so funny to me how people automatically assume that when you're Latin, you're Mexican. Growing up, one of the things that I remember the most was being called Mexican. It was never really like that big of an issue, but I think also I don't feel it as strongly because I'm also Mexican. I guess one of the biggest thing that bothers me is when people aren't really educated as far as where El Salvador is and where Mexican is, and it's kind of like, oh, you're Mexican. How do you know I'm Mexican? What if I was just full Salvadoran? Do you know where El Salvador is at? Oh yeah, it's in Mexico. And I get it, I love Mexico, right? There's so many other places in Latin America. Growing up, I was a little confused and I didn't know how to navigate around that. But now, understanding that there's a lack of representation of the Salvadorian culture, I turned that into a, hey, you know what? I'm Salvadorian, let me tell you what's different. And I think that's very important. Whenever people think about El Salvador, they do think about the violence. And then we had the civil war and now these gangs. When you tell somebody that you're Salvadorian, the first thing that comes, it is de la Mara. And it's like, yo, I'm not from MS-13. I usually say that we have a lot of Saudi war trauma, like civil war trauma, right? We are more than gang violence. We are more than past war traumas. We are also a people with thousands of years worth of history, perseverance, and although many of us call the United States our home, we never stop being proud of our little pulgarcito. See, I grew up hearing all these stories, la musica, la cultura, la comida, but I would always ask, like, when are we gonna go back? I think it's the media that over-exaggerates. That pushes us to be a little bit stronger and just be more proud of our culture. So I feel like we need more positivity because this is the only way how we're educating ourselves as a community, sharing that culture, passing it down to the next generation of Salvadoreños. So I just got back from El Salvador. The last time I went, which was about like three years ago, I thought would be probably the last time I went in a while. It's just like really different, especially if you're like from the more like zonas with like the gangs and stuff like that. You can't go out past a certain time or like you just can't do certain things like you used to be able to like 10 years ago. We do have a lot of violence in our country and that carries over into our lives sometimes but we always crack a smile and we know how to make the best out of our situation. I really ended up going to El Centro with my boy and nothing happened. I mean people were kind of looking at me because I didn't really look like the locals but I had a camera, I had my iPhone, I drank a chuco out of a huacal. That's what we call bowls, huacales. It was amazing. They didn't steal my phone. I came back alive. The reason why El Salvador is in the condition it's in is a lot of it is because of US intervention. So it's crazy that we're like still denying, you know, refugees and people who are fleeing because it's something that we created. Do I feel represented in the media? Not really. As a queer salvadoreña, no. Growing up, it was definitely not in the media at all. Me and my sisters will follow Salvi pages and we'll see like the kind of content that they push, but definitely things that are like produced here or like Salvi Americans, definitely not. I'm going to say that there's a lot of responsibility on the folks that are already in media to come out and say, hey, soy salvadoreña, soy salvadoreño, eso es lo que estoy haciendo, soy representando la patria, soy representando a un porcentaje de los salvadoreños que estamos aquí. There's a lot of Salvadorians that have accomplished major things, but for some reason we're not being being highlighted. It's very important for the media to showcase us. Like if you're going to tell our story, look for those Salvi artists, look for those Salvi musicians, look for those Salvi actors because they're there. A lot of people don't know who we are yet. A lot of people don't know anything about us besides maybe like pupusas. Everybody knows about pupusas. Now pupusas are trying to get trendy. That's what everybody knows, but it's like, no dude, we have yuca con chicharron, we have pastelitos. Our pastelitos look like they're empanadas, they're stuffed with like ground beef, chicken, whatever, but I feel like in my head they're a little bit tastier. Platanos fritos and like frijoles licuados. And then of course, you know, we incorporate our national flour, la flor de sote. We eat our national flour and we cook it with eggs and tomato sauce. I honestly only eat flor de sote with my grandma and we don't even go to MacArthur Park to buy it, like she makes it from scratch. Los tamales son diferentes, las empanadas son diferentes. Our empanadas are actually made out of platano. Están rellenas con you know, poliada, uh, which is like a milk custard. So it's actually not even a meal, it's like a dessert. It's more of a postre. And of course, the one that always cracks me up when I'm hanging out with friends that are not Salvi, um, when they say, oh yeah, quesadillas are so bomb. And I'm like, yeah, quesadillas are bomb. And everyone's like, okay, well, what's the difference with Salvi quesadillas? And I'm like, well, it's a pan. It has cheese, obviously, because it's a quesadilla, but there's no meat, it's a dessert. We don't always find ourselves represented 
anywhere. I think there's a lot of work that we need to do as community. Not necessarily is one Salvadorian going to represent the entire community. Definitely not enough representation of El Pulgarcito de Centro America. So when I'm hanging out with friends, they say like, God, like, just the way how you guys talk, it's like so much passion. It's like, no jodas, like, bayunco, bayuncadas, este cipote, esta bicha. You know, it's like those accents, that, that expression is just, I don't know, I, I, I just love them. When you meet somebody that's Salvi, like you kind of, I feel like a lot of the time you just kind of like start saying those words or like joking around like, ay no se bayunco and like, ay puchik, ay boss, you know, or imaginate, or just like starts picking up the lingo and just, it's kind of like, oh yeah, you're Salvi because you know like that little cantadito and like how to say certain words. Growing up Salvi, I would never even think que somos mal creados o mal hablados, but if you compare it to other people's language, I could see why they would think that. That's why sometimes I talk like a sailor because I grew up around that, and in our culture, with our people, it's not wrong. It's not disrespectful. It's the way we express ourselves. It's kind of like in English, you're like, holy and us, we're like, puta. Our slang can be sassy. There are some words that I don't like, like cerote, I don't like that word. I think because other people have used it on me in a negative way, that even when we use it amongst ourselves as like community, I'm like, that word, no. But I've gotten into arguments with people that have called me mona cerota. If you're not Salvi, you're not allowed to say it. It's not okay. Don't come at me and be like, hey, bo mona cerota, you know, like, no, you can't. I remember as a kid, like my mom would, would call us like, like, like in a loving way and I didn't know and that it was not a good word until I said it to someone and then they're like hey you're not supposed to say that I'm like but my mom calls me that all the time you know but it's like I've been on the other end where people say it like with the intention to offend it stings a little but it's also kind of like eh, like another word for shit and I'm the shit. <laughs> El Salvador is a small, small country in Central America, full of rich history, pyramids, forests, coffee, culture, and of course, the most beautiful people in the world. There are so many reasons why I love being Salvi. I feel like we're born with this innate sense of hustle, and we're fighters. There's different personalities to us, but the undertone of, of, of what we share is strength. Every single Salvadorian that I've met works hard for what they have. Every single Salvadorian that I met is a visionary in their own way, and I'm very proud to come from that. I actually learned to do my art in El Salvador, like my quilling. Um, I learned from the elders. That's when I first like learned um, how to like roll paper. I, where I first got introduced to quilling because I'd never heard of it before, never seen it. And I just like loved it and brought it back with me and kind of just like expanded my skills and you know, started like my business and like selling them. Salvi people, we have a unique fire and a unique sense of wanting to win and we're gonna fight for whatever we need to do and we do what we do with love. So I just love being Salvi for the reason that there's not many of us, it's a smaller country. It makes me happy when El Salvador wins soccer games because that's very rare. I love being a Salvi Cachimbona. <laughs> We come from a, a small country where there's over like 22 volcanoes. Metaphorically, like that's how I see it. There's so many volcanoes because there's so much passion. There's so much that that little country represents and it can be shared. And the same way, that's how we are. And, and softly, it's being diminished because we don't talk about it. So if we don't talk about it, it's forgotten. It's erased. And we can erase this beautiful culture. There's a lot to be shared. So go out there, talk about the culture, tell us what you love about the culture. Keep eating your pupusas with a fork or without a fork, who cares? Live your best life, try a little sopa de pata, have some platanos for breakfast, and enjoy yourselves. Adios, my little papitas fritas. Follow like.